Hey guys. Yes, finally a video from me. Huh. Anyway, so I've had a couple requests to uh, deconstruct a sort of firebox thing that uh, has shown up in a couple of my other videos. So you might remember this, my flaming pumpkin thing. And I had some question some people ask, what what is the fire thing. What, what, what exactly is that? So, I'm going to pull it apart and we'll take a look. Alright, so first the outside. Plastic box. Um, there's no uh, etchings or relief as to who the hell makes it. Uh, I got this in with a ceramic pumpkin that didn't look very good to be honest. That's why I made that. Uh, at, I believe it was Lowe's uh, last year near Halloween. So we're going to take this apart and see how it works. Okay, so took the back off. And what we have here is an electric motor and rod with these little kind of silver, they're almost foil, a little bit a little bit stronger than your standard sort of uh, Reynolds wrap, but little foil leaf things. And this is going to rotate. Then behind there, there's a little LED light. It's a white light. And then this is a piece of glass that's been frosted with uh, an orange uh, frost. I would assume you could probably just use some uh, orange cellophane. And then the front is one of this uh, mirrored uh, glass. So it's a one-way glass. And uh, you could use just that uh, um, film that you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot to do that. Now, I'm not going to take off this front, but I've already taken it off before. And the glass is about that thick. So it's pretty thick glass. I'd say about four millimeters thick. So that's four millimeters thick. So I'm going to plug this in and uh, light's going to be bright but hey that's uh price we pay. Okay so you can see the little sucker rotating. There we go. Well, I'm trying to position the light so it's not killing us here. Um, and the LED light illuminates the rotating foil and that creates this light effect up on the glass. Now that looks okay but it doesn't look as good as that and the reason is for that is the thickness of the glass pulls the light and spreads it out some and that's what gives you the flaming effect. So let's uh, get an angle there. And um, so that's counting out to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that was a fast six count. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Okay, so four seconds on the rotation so that's roughly somewhere between I don't know what 12 and 15 rpm uh, so that's an easy enough motor to get going at 15 rpm it's basically a rotisserie setup and you can see it's just one bright LED so great one bright LED now I would think you could put in some multicolored LEDs uh, and you know, get some uh, blue in there and uh, some red to get more of a, an embery look. You can make this quite big. Um, the glass, I think, is the only thing that would be kind of tricky. Um, the one-way film stuff, that's easy enough. And if you did it strictly with um, sort of a, instead of going with a strictly orange back frosting like that's there, um, if you just put in like that um, uh, window frost to diffuse the light 
but don't put any color and instead of a white light use uh, colored uh, LEDs uh, that might give a pretty cool effect too um, and if it didn't give a good effect put in a white LED and get an orange uh, um, film on there uh, that's frosted I think frosting is important I think if you left that clear that's not going to have near as good of effect you're going to see all this shape too strongly on the display side and that's no good so what can you use this for you could use it as uh, an insert to um, say a furnace right and then just have another you know mp3 with a speaker playing with you know screaming and oh my god playing in the background and then you got a you know a good you know person roasting in in a uh, furnace scene uh, or really anything else that you just need a decent fire scene uh, and that is how this little guy was done. Now, if you don't want to build one, if you want to try to find one of these, um, I say, look around um, Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm sorry, I can't remember which one it was. Um, and it was called uh, Cer Flaming Ceramic Pumpkin. Um, I say, the, the it was probably about 40 bucks. Um... I wasn't too thrilled with the pumpkin itself. It was just sort of a big kind of, it was a happy pumpkin, you know, like a Charlie Brown style pumpkin. And uh, it was heavy, and um, I mean, I kept it, it's downstairs somewhere, but it wasn't very good. Um, and I did this pumpkin, because first of all, I thought it'd be cool to have a green pumpkin, and that's in iridescent colors. Uh, I think I have uh, Eric Weister to uh, uh, thank uh, for that idea. Uh, so thank you, Eric. I'm pretty sure it was Eric. If it was somebody else, I apologize. I just don't remember. It was almost a year ago. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the promised uh, firebox deconstruction. Um, sure, you could probably do the same effect by if you have a uh, well, no, an iPad and get a flaming app or an MP3 of just flame and hit it on repeat. Uh, but you know, iPad's kind of expensive, and you know, to build one of these guys, I don't think you'd drop more than you know twenty, thirty bucks on something that you could build that's quite a bit bigger. I'm not sure what all these little circuitry is doing. I mean, it's just a motor and one bright LED, so I'm not sure what all that's there for. But whatever. Um, so there it is. Uh, finally put up a video. I'm not going to put up very many videos this year. We are hoping to finally move this year. And since we're going to be moving to a new, new location, I have no idea what I want to build. Uh, but i got a couple of small props that I'm going to be uh, doing. So I'll make sure that I videotape those and um, look for more um, stuff um, in the next couple months. Happy Halloween.